Hello my lovelies, today's video is all about long-lasting fresh fragrances for women. These are hard to find, let me tell you. I was just thinking like, there is not many fresh fragrances that last and if they last they're kind of average at best compared to like a really intense ambery or vanilla fragrances so i'm going to i've put this list in order so i'm going uh, from least long lasting but still give you like six hours plus long lasting sort of freshness to my top top long lasting picks and if you're new to this channel subscribe for more perfume and luxury videos on this channel my first pick that i often take into my handbag because i love how fresh and long lasting it is but it's on the lower end so it's i would say six hours for a fresh perfume it's good in my books it's just hard to get those top top fresh notes to last and if you do that too much like if you put too many artificial things in there they just end up smelling like a bathroom cleaner so we don't want that these are all luxury smelling perfumes first one on this list is a la rose from maison francisco kajan it's got a green sort of a barrier around the sticker because there's quite a few rose fragrances in mfk's list so this is one of those that i take in my bag i love how <laughs> just really lovely and fresh it is it's a beautiful really sophisticated green rose with softness so it's not sharp what i told you like if you put too many like artificial things in a fragrance then rose can be like really screechy like you know in a hand soap in your grandma grandmother's bathroom not a good smell this is luxurious it's super fresh even on a hot hot summer's day when it's humid this will just smell magical you'll you'll just want to reapply it and reapply it at least that's what i do if i really love a fragrance and this is just magical slightly green as i said but really good and fresh next up is a fragrance from bdk and this scent is really exciting it's a cell d'argent and this is your salty fresh fragrance and i love it because that saltiness in there in my opinion gives this fragrance a bit more long lasting power because it kind of like preserves it like salt with meat i don't know why i made that suggestion anyways salt <laughs> but this is like this salty sea breeze sort of a scent so not quite marine aquatic but more like air around the sea a bit it's a bit spa like to me as well and i love wearing it in the summer because i think it's just so unique smelling with that saltiness it's not too salty though because i have had salty fragrances in the past that literally smelled like salt and i was like I, I, I just can't do it this has got enough saltiness in here to really make this fragrance last but it's still fresh perfect for summer in the city if you want to just smell like you're by the seaside but you really have to go to work in the city this will be your perfect fragrance it's so unique so wonderful and totally worth the money to me by the way there's others in the line but to me this one is the most unique so check out the other ones if you want as well in the blue bottles they're all quite summery and really lovely next up i'll mention bol d'afrique from byredo but this one i know they have changed the formula of it so it used to be like a fragrance bomb like this tropical fruit sort of a summer fragrance but i think it's a bit less long lasting from what i've heard so i still will put it on this list it's not i think it will be at the top of this list if it was still the old formulation but it's still a strong fragrance and it's surprising for byredo because byredo fragrances usually don't last that long but that one is a really good one to try if you love this tropical fruity feel of a fragrance but you want it light and summery next up it's another niche fragrance and it's last in paradise from ex nilo ex nihilo and this fragrance to me it's just 
such a refreshing scent in my collection that I gravitate towards in the spring summertime but especially in the summertime because it's really clean smelling rosy but it's quite floral as well but it settles down on the skin with this soft touch it's not too screeching i just you can probably tell by this video i hate florals and citruses that are just like like nails on the cardboard i just can't stand it to me florals are supposed to be just fresh and delicate and this does it beautifully it has got a bit a tiny bit of this screechiness but to me it smells just like soapy cleanliness which actually helps with the longevity of this fragrance and also how clean it makes me feel like even in like hot humid weather long lasting as well stunning bottle check out Ex Nihilo and Last in Paradise. So now we're getting to the really long lasting, really long lasting, like this is more like eight hours plus I would say fragrances and they're fresh and long lasting. And another one is Suit of Lights from Jus Fox. Just adore the scent. I know I, do. I tell it about every single one, but I love fragrance. So what can you do? This scent is to me, oh, it's so beautiful. It's stunning it's very innocent it's clean it's bridal like i could imagine wearing this as a bride it's fresh but so gentle and almost like angelic such a beautiful experience in the fragrance it's really special super long lasting it's simple but i think that's the key sometimes with fresh fragrances you don't want them over complicated because as soon as you put so many notes in there you kind of have a headache and you don't want that when it's super hot out you want something that will last and make you feel just super clean and great smelling this is one of those absolutely amazing perfect for every day for anybody it's just such a wearable scent let me know by the way what long-lasting fragrance do, would you recommend that is fresh so we can all just have a look, little sneaky peek in the comments next up on my list is Dosson from deep teak this is a special edition blue uh, sort of a bottle and this is the eau de parfum i always have to check yes and this is i would say it's fresh to me it might be not as fresh as you would like maybe it depends if you like tuberose if you like white florals white flor florals are a bit more intense but i think that's why this fragrance lasts this is a strong strong fragrance i only ever spray maybe two sprays max on me just because to me for some reason tuberose is the scent that i can really smell like really it may be too much for me on some days but for some of you it might be your perfect scent because it's beautiful it's a tuberose it's intense it's heady it's fresh it it's really strong and long lasting so if you want a white floral fresh fragrance that will last this is like eight hours plus even goes to more hours uh, especially in hot hot weather it actually extends the life out of this fragrance for me so check it out Dosson from Deep Teak next scent is one that i have a story about this is a scent that i witness how long lasting it is and how intense it is even in hot weather because i have smelt it like we're on a trip somewhere and somebody on that trip was wearing the scent and let me tell you a lot of people on that trip were wearing fragrances but this person i could smell like this was like the only person that i could smell the scent was just everywhere we were outdoors indoors everywhere this scent was just going behind that person so i can attest that this is a very strong fresh fragrance and it is molecule 04 from eccentric molecules this scent it's light it's fresh but it also kind of smells like pencil shavings and really really woody it's extremely woody 
but it's fresh at the same time. It's a weird experience. If you've ever smelled any molecule fragrances, then you know what they smell like. They're kind of an acquired taste, I would say. They're simple, but they are very long lasting and persistent. Although I have to say that some people can't smell them at all. For example, this fragrance is extremely strong to me, but my husband can't smell it at all. He can't even tell like where it is on the hand. He can't smell it at all. He can smell some other molecule of uh, molecule like O2 fragrances or other ones. This one in particular, it's a one that it's, I mean, you will either be able to smell it or want but if you know that you love such fragrances, then try it out and tell me if you can smell it or not. <laughs> this is a fun one. This is like sort of an enigma, but it is very strong. Next up is a scent that is also super long lasting and strong. It is Mask Therapy from Initio. I would consider it a fresh scent just because although it's musky and kind of black currant and just wild bit bitter and green but also creamy this scent just makes me feel super fresh and cleansed and just really zen all of these scents have got this calming quality to them this is a truly unique fresh scent i would say it's not the freshest as in it's not like citruses watery citruses it's not that sort of a scent it's more fresh in the sense that it's got this like cleanness to it and also muskiness which is just it smells clean to me musks always smell clean and they were designed for laundry detergents i think in the first place so that is what musks really smell like and then black currant makes it super fresh kind of summery smelling to me so if you want something not quite as like citrusy but still fresh and clean this is a wonderful scent it's truly unique you can make it your signature scent for sure because this is not something that you will smell everywhere now we're going to my top three long lasting scents and one of them for me is Valaya I have gone through quite a lot of this scent recently I love it I love it in the hot humid summer weather this is strong it makes me feel like i've just like had a shower it smells like fresh laundry but in a luxurious way it's not your like cheap sort of a room freshness sort of a scent but like a luxurious hotel that you just walk into and it just smells so good and clean this is that scent to me it's musky it's very very fresh and um yeah if you wear it let me know what you think i think on the scent strip it doesn't smell as good as on the skin on my skin for some reason it just works it just melts it oh it's so good i get compliments for this fragrance all the time recently i was just at the post office it was super hot and the lady crossed like we've still got those like um barriers like sort of a pvc sort of clear barriers because of covid um she was able to smell it and she was like oh my gosh you smell amazing it's one that truly just people love as well although um it's like a niche scent you know not every niche scent is super crowd pleasing next fragrance that i adore wearing in this sort of climate and it's super strong and fresh it's ysl libre eau de toilette oh I'm nearly broken my nail this scent is just enough of freshness but still it's got this libre dna so a bit of that lavender but it's more like grapefruity fresh and a really so easy to wear so much more easy to wear than any other libre uh, perfume in my collection and it really because of this airiness it just gives you more of a scent bubble when you wear it so it's strong long lasting and also gives you a nice scent bubble this to me is like a killer scent in the summer i've worn it last year uh, a lot during the heat wave i just love how easy it is to wear you just grab it you can't 
being not in the mood for it. It's just a winner in my book. And the longest lasting fragrance for summer in my whole collection, the one that I gravitate towards on the hottest, hottest day. And I know that it will last and last and last. I don't have to worry about it. And if I want to smell great, I'll just grab it. It is this one. It's Green Leaf from Parfum de Mali. And I'm telling you, this scent is so long lasting. And I think it's because although it's fresh, it's also super woody, like light woody. And the woods that you kind of would find in strong fragrances like Baccarat Rouge, like underneath it all, there is this like woodiness, this harsh woodiness that really makes it airy and strong. This has got that, but with spices, citruses, it's extremely refreshing. Uh, it's part of the men's line, but I do wear it. I find that this fragrance is super attractive. I get compliments for it. It does lean slightly masculine, so it's like unisex to masculine. Depends on who wears it, because if my husband wears it, I'm like, oh, it's super masculine, super strong. If I wear it, he's like, oh, it smells super good. So I think if you've got a partner, you both can wear it and really enjoy it. It changes on everybody's skin. But if you love that unisex, woody, without any sweetness, just peppery, spicy scent for the summer, this will be your killer. This will be just so long lasting. And um, it's one of the best ones, in my opinion, for that purpose, if you want something long lasting, strong. Thank you so much for being on this channel and watching this video and follow me on Instagram at Monica underscore Choch, C-I-O-C-H. That is my surname, by the way. I'm just not making weird sounds and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.